places. You'll see it's set to get address and DHCP. If you're going to want to change it to manual, you do it here. Okay, just cancel that. So there's preferences. To give you a quick look round, um, hopefully you can see this. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the resolution because I'm a bit worried about you not being able to see this. So let's drop the screen resolution down again. Let's drop it down to 1360. There you go, it's blown up a bit now. And you can see my image has gone off the edge. Okay, um, so let's put the, what we do is we'll put the smaller version on here, shall we? Uh, click on here, and just go down to the 1280 again. So you can put all your images on here, you can put anything you like on here, it's up to you. Uh, I've got a widescreen version here, so let's click OK and use. And we want to update. Okay, so there you go. So it's, you, know, you can play with this as much as you like. Right, so uh, some key things. Preferences draw. Uh, hopefully most of you are aware what the Amiga is like, but we've got here, if you go to the root, when I start again, go to Amos Live Drive. Now this is all on this little stick, as I was saying. You can see that, well you can't see actually, but the, the light is glowing on and off very slowly. At that point you can turn the power off. Again, I'm going to reiterate this. If that is flashing on, off, on, off, on, off, you'll know the difference then um, do not turn the power off because it's right into the disk and you might corrupt the disk. However, if you do corrupt the disk, you can always post it back to me and I'll, re I'll reset it up completely for you from scratch and I'll post it back. It does mean you lose data, okay? but that's uh, one of those things. What I would suggest actually is possibly having a separate USB stick. If, you, if you're going to keep it with a USB stick, is to put, um, get yourself a separate data disk and just copy your files onto there to keep them safe. So, um, let's have a quick look here. Right, so what we've got here is we've got demos. There's some demos in here. It's got the full system on here with development tools and everything. Um, extras with, there's a load of programs in here. Okay, now, I have, I, I, by default, I don't put Amy Start on, which is um, a little start bar, but I'm going to do it for you here. It's just a little icon here. If you want this start bar, uh, it takes a few seconds to load. I don't, I don't put this in as default, but if you want to have this permanently, Okay, you you can just turn this on. Okay, it's, it's a nice little thing. It takes you all around the system. There's your manuals, I mean, perhaps. Um, so I'm just going to exit that. The reason, the reason I don't use it, occasionally it can cause problems with um, some software. Okay, so fonts drawers, libs draw. It's much easier in Windows. Everything's just got a place. Um, locale, which is where you put all your, for example, your key maps and so on. Media, and I have actually put some... Uh, there's some animations on here for you to play with. Now you see there's nothing hidden there, you see it's got five hidden, so if I go up to here, view all files from the window icon, now we can see the animation files, and I'll come back to that. Um, there's some images on here for you to play with, just double click on one, and there you go, there's an image. I'll put them, just some bits on here so you can get players straight away. Movies, um, I've put um, some small ones off my website, but this one, okay, let's wind this forward a bit. There we go, so there's Buck Bunny, just something. Now this is a pub, um, an open source movie, so I'm allowed to include it before anyone starts worrying. Music, obviously there's nothing in the music, so I'm not allowed, because it's copyright. So that's the music. Now, um, okay, so um, what we'll do is we'll click on Directory Opus. So you can see here, I've set it up so it's just in a small window. Um, DU0 is your drive in the back, um, extras. Okay, and uh, extras is where most of the programs are stored. Um, but I think most of you are probably aware of how to use Direct Opus. Oh, let's come back onto something actually. So if I go to DU0, and remember I said about those um, animations. If I click on animations and click on this button down here, <coughs> you can see up here and we've got this animation. So it'll play, it doesn't play all Amiga animations, um, but it will actually play quite a lot of them. Um, it's quite a nice little animation player to be fair. So I uh, give you something to play with. Um, and as far as the pictures are concerned, if you click on that, just click on one of the icons, and then show. And there you go. So it's going to show you pictures for you. And there's other tools for doing the same thing, but um, just to get you going. Um, obviously, a big thing. Oh, if you want the manual, I've got the manual here on the base for you. It's an Icarus manual. Probably worth reading it. Um, so um, it's actually. It's quite good. It's written by Paolo, so it's quite a good little manual. Um, 
probably worth going through and just having a look through the manual. Okay, in fact, if we go to the back, you can see it's all the interesting bits like the games and stuff. Oh, that's interesting, the high view tracker. Um, just bear in mind, it is actually on the system, but um, sometimes I find it's, if you've got really, there's a high view tracker, that's, sorry, that's high view, no, that one's fine. Pro tracker, sometimes pro tracker, because it's, it, it really is CPU intensive and it, and it might struggle a bit with the Atom. Um, some will, sometimes it will, so just experiment with that one. See how you get on. Um, next down we've got M Player. I've already shown you the M Player movies. Just double click on that. Now that M Player will play your audio and your uh, videos as well. So next we've got Start Workbench and YT Mon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start YT Mon. Now this is a really neat little program. It's um, monitoring clipboard. Right. If you go on YouTube and you want, because we don't have um, a, a flash. Flash built in for the system now. So um, what we'll do is I'm going to just type in here YouTube. And I'm going to go and find. I'm going to go and find a video. Um, right. So let's go find. Uh, Omeka. There we go. Um, let's find here. This. Um, how about the cat weasel one? Here you go. Right. So we click on that. Now, as long as you've got that little program running up here in the top, okay, what we can do is we just double click on that so you select the whole lot. Go to Edit, Copy. Now, now you see I've moved it out of the way. Now you can see it's, it's, what it's, done, it's copied it to the clipboard and put <laughs> some nice little coding magic. It goes up against the video. Um, so now you can watch that. That's your YouTube video. Now, this, this is actually a low resolution version at the moment. Let me just shut that up. That's the low resolution version at the moment, let me close that. Um, but it, it's actually really nice and it allows you to play YouTube movies, um, which, which I must admit I'm quite pleased with. Now, another little thing you'll probably want to do, if I go back to the start, you might want to um, do a uh, bookmark of this. So on, the, tie, on the, um, the tab bar, if you right click the mouse, bookmark this tab and we'll say insert, okay? That's it. That's now up there, so you go to bookmarks at the top, you can always get back there. Um, and that will um, get you sorted out. Okay, so that's the browser. Now, of course, you know, uh, if you want to do a quick Google search, I know I'm always doing Omeka, but you know, I might as well keep the advertising going. So we search on Omeka. Um, it's pretty much uh, everything you want there. Um, let's go to BBC, which is one of my favourites. Kind of biased. Um, here we go. Right, this is now loading up the uh, BBC website. So you can see the browsers. Uh, the browsers pretty good, to be fair. Um, it supports uh, it supports most websites. It's just at the moment, it's just that it's not got Flash, so it, it's pretty good. Um, we are in the process of um, getting an, an update done for it to give it some more functionality, more features. Um, but we'll come back to that later. So let me close that down. Right, so that's getting you started. Um, with the system.